Al Naba'a, the important announcement. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. <laughs> what is it that these disbelievers are asking one another about? <laughs> Is it about the greatly important and very useful announcement leading to knowledge? <laughs> about which they differ from the Muslims and among themselves? <laughs> it is not as they assume. They shall surely know the truth thereof. We say it again. The real thing is not as they believe. They shall surely come to know the truth thereof. Have we not made the earth as a bed? and the mountains as a series of pegs? And we have created you in pairs, males and females. And we have made your sleep a source of rest. And we have made the night as a covering وَجَعَلْنَا النَّهَارَ مَعَاشًا And we have made the day for following the various pursuits of life. وَبَنَيْنَا فَوْقَكُمْ سَبَعًا شِدَادًا And we have built above you seven strong heavenly bodies of the solar system. وَجَعَلْنَا سِرَاجًا وَهَاجًا and we have made therein the sun providing immense light and heat from a long distance. And we pour down from the dripping clouds water in torrent. That we may bring forth therewith all kinds of grain and vegetation. And grow with it gardens thick and luxuriant. Surely the day of judgment is an appointed time. يَوْمَ يُنْفَخُ فِي الصُّورِ فَتَأْتُونَ أَفْوَاجًا The day when the trumpet will be blown, and you will come in large troops. وَفُتِحَتِ السَّمَاءُ فَكَانَتْ أَبْوَابًا And the heaven shall be flung open, and it shall become all doors. وَسُيِّرَتِ الْجِبَالُ فَكَانَتْ سَرَابًا And the mountains shall be wiped out and shall become as if reduced to plains of sand. إِنَّ جَهَنَّمَ كَانَتْ مِرْصَادًا Surely only Jahanna shall be in wait for those who deny the truth. لِلطَّاغِينَ مَآبًا a nursing home for the rebellious. <laughs> there they shall be staying for ages till all their maladies are completely treated. <laughs> there they shall find no comfort of coolness nor drink. إِلَّا حَمِيمًا وَغَسَّاقًا All that they shall have will be boiling water or stinking fluid as a recompense. 
جزاء وفاقا A befitting recompense for the evils done by them. إنهم كانوا لا يرجون حسابا They did not fear any reckoning at all. And they had belied our messages outright. And everything of their deeds we have fully recorded in a book of deeds. فَذُوقُوا فَلَنْ نَزِيدَكُمْ إِلَّا عَذَابًا It shall be said to them, when they are about to be punished, Suffer therefore the consequences of your evil deeds. We will do no more than increase your torment. إِنَّ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ مَفَازًا As for those who guarded against evil, there awaits them a triumph. Orchards and vineyards. And blooming young maidens suiting their age and also matching in all other respects. And overflowing cups of pure and clean drink. Therein they will hear no vain discourse, no topics based on falsehood. It will be said to each. All of this is bestowed on you by your Lord, both by way of gift and by reckoning. The Lord of the heavens and the earth, and of all that lies between them, the most gracious God, whom they dare not address. All this will be on the day of resurrection, when the perfect spirit and the angels will stand in rows. None shall speak except he. Muhammad, to whom the Most Gracious God will grant permission and who will speak only what is right. That day is bound to come, so let him who will seek recourse to his Lord. Verily we have warned you of a punishment which is close at hand, a day when a person shall see what good or evil deeds he has sent on before for the next life, and the disbeliever will say, Would that I were mere dust. El Naziat, those who perform their duties vigorously, with the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. I call to witness those groups of beings who perform their duties towards their Lord and people and themselves with intense zeal and to the best of their capacity. 
And those who exert themselves vigorously. And those who steer their course swiftly and skillfully. Then those who going foremost greatly excel all others and attain the topmost positions. Then those who administer the affairs in an excellent manner shall reap the fruit of their striving. It shall be on the day when the quaking earth shall quake. Quakes after quakes shall follow this. On that day, many hearts will be trembling with fear. Their eyes will be downcast in disgrace. These are the people who say, Shall we really be restored to our former state after we are dead? Shall it be even when we are reduced to hollow bones? And who say, Then such a resurrection shall indeed be fraught with loss. Let them say what they think. It will be no more than a single scary blast. And behold, after that, they will all be awakened and come out in the open. The story of Moses has reached you. When his Lord called out to him in the sacred valley of Tuwa, and directed him, Go to Pharaoh, he has transgressed all limits. And say to him, Would you like to purify yourself? That I should guide you to your Lord so that you may stand in awe of him? So Moses went to Pharaoh and he showed him the great sign of the staff. But he belied Moses and disobeyed. Then he turned back, striving and devising schemes against him. And he gathered his people and proclaimed, saying, I, Pharaoh, am your supreme Lord. So Allah seized him for the punishment of both the next and the present life. Indeed, there is a lesson in this event for him who stands in awe of his Lord. O people, are you harder to be created again or the heaven? He, the Almighty Lord, has made it. He has raised the height thereof and has made it flawlessly perfect and well balanced. And he gave darkness to its night and brought forth the morn thereof.
And along with it, he hurled the earth away from a bigger mass and spread it forth. He produced from it its water and pasture. He set the mountains firmly. He has done all this to serve as a goodly provision for you and your cattle. Behold, when that great calamity comes to pass, on that day every person will call to mind all that he strove for. And hell shall be brought in view of him who sees. Then as for the one who transgresses, and prefers the present life to the hereafter, let him remember that the hell shall surely be his abode. But as for the one who fears to stand before his Lord and restrains himself from evil desires, then Garden of Bliss shall surely be his permanent abode. The people ask you concerning the hour, saying, When shall it come to pass? Why do they ask this question? It is you who are its reminder, you being one of its signs. The ultimate end of it is decreed by your Lord. You are only a warner to one who fears it. The day they witness it, the hour, they will feel as if they had stayed in the world and the grave for an afternoon or a short forenoon thereof. Abasa, he frowned, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. He, the Prophet, frowned and turned aside. Because the blind man came to him, interrupting him unknowingly. And what could make you, O Prophet, know that he might purify himself? Or that he might have paid heed to the admonition that God has revealed to you, and this admonition would have done him good as well. But as to him who considers himself self-sufficient and is indifferent to the truth, to this one you were very attentive. Though you are not to blame if he does not purify himself. Whereas the blind man came to you, striving in right earnest to learn the Qur'an. 
and all the while he stands in awe of God. But you neglect him and pay him no regard. This should not have been so. Verily, this Qur'an is a means to rise to eminence for you all. So let him who desires pay heed to it and rise to eminence. This Qur'an is preserved in such written leaves of the book as are greatly honored. Which are ranked high and are rid of all impurities. Which are in the hands of scribes. Noble and virtuous. Ruin sees the person, one too proud to accept the reminder, how ungrateful he is. Let him consider from what an insignificant material he has created him. From a mere sperm drop. He at first creates him, then endows him with infinite capacity to make progress. Then makes his passage through all affairs of life easy for him. Then he calls him to death and he assigns to him an interim state of a grave. And he will again raise him to life when he so wishes. It cannot be that there is no resurrection. He has not yet carried out what he commanded him to do. Therefore, let such a person look at his food. How at first we pour down water in abundance. Then we cleave the earth a proper cleaving. So that we cause grain to grow therein. As well as grapes, vegetables. The olive, the date palm. Orchards with dense trees. Fruits and herbage. A goodly provision for you and your cattle. Again, you should also consider when the deafening shout shall come. The day when a person shall flee from his brother and from his mother and his father and from his spouse and his sons. On that day, every person among them shall be concerned enough regarding his own affairs to occupy him and to make him indifferent to others. Some faces that day will be beaming. 
smiling and joyous. Some other faces on that day will have dust upon them. Gloom covering them. Those will be the faces of the disbelievers and of the doers of evil. El Takawir, losing of the light. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. When the sun be folded up and darkened. And when the stars are obscured. And when the mountains are made to pass away. And when the excellent she-camels will be discarded. And when the wild beasts shall be herded together. And when the rivers will be drained away. And when various people will be united together. And when the baby girl who is buried alive will be questioned about For what offense was she killed? And when books and papers will be spread abroad. وَإِذَا السَّمَاءُ كُشِطَتْ And when the heights will be discovered. وَإِذَا الْجَحِيمُ سُعِّرَتْ And when the hellfire will be set ablaze. وَإِذَا الْجَنَّةُ أُزْلِفَتْ And when the paradise will be brought near. عَلِمَتْ نَفْسٌ مَا أَحْضَرَتْ Every soul will know then what store of deeds it has brought forward. فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِالْخُنَّسِ Nay, I call to witness those planets that recede while advancing in one direction. الْجَوَارِ الْكُنَّسِ those planets that continue their forward course along their orbits and then disappear. And I call to witness the night when its darkness begins to depart. And the dawn as it begins to breathe and brightens up. Kareem. That verily, this Qur'an is indeed the word revealed to and uttered by a noble and illustrious messenger. Possessor of power, occupying a glorious secure position with the Lord of the throne. Who is entitled to be obeyed and who is trustworthy? And that this companion of yours is not at all mad. And he has most surely seen himself shining in the resplendence of his own light, in the clear horizon, in the remotest corners of the world. And he is not at all niggardly, nor a forgerer in disclosing the hidden realities.
وَمَا هُوَ بِقَوْلِ شَيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ Nor is this Qur'an the word of Satan who is driven away from divine presence. فَأَيْنَ تَذْهَبُونَ Where do you wander to leaving this Qur'an and the messenger aside? إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرٌ لِلْعَالَمِينَ this is but a means to rise to eminence for all people. For such of you who wish to walk straight and attain eminence. And you should not desire otherwise except that which Allah, the Lord of the worlds, desires for you. Al Infitar, the cleaving asunder, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. إِذَا السَّمَاءُ فَطَرَتْ When the sky will be cleft asunder. وَإِذَا الْكَوَاكِبُ تَثَرَتْ And when the planets will become dispersed. وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ فُجِّرَتْ And when the rivers are widely split up and made to flow forth into canals. وَإِذَا الْقُبُورُ بُعْثِرَتْ And when the graves will be laid open. عَلِمَتْ نَفْسٌ مَّا قَدَّمَتْ وَأَخَّرَتْ Every person shall know then what evil actions which he should not have done, he has committed, and what good actions he should have done, he has omitted. يَا أَيُّهَا الْإِنسَانُ مَا غَرَّكَ بِرَبِّكَ الْكَرِيمِ O ungrateful human being, what has enticed you away from your Lord, the Honored One? Who created you, then perfected you with wisdom, then endowed you with great natural powers and faculties. And he fashioned you in whatever form it pleased him. Surely it is not at all as you think. The truth is that you treat the requital as a lie. وَإِنَّ عَلَيْكُمْ لَحَافِظِينَ Verily, there are appointed guardians over you. كِرَامًا كَاتِبِينَ Noble angel recorders of your commissions and omissions. يَعْلَمُونَ مَا تَفْعَلُونَ Who know all that you do. إِنَّ الْأَبْرَارَ لَفِي نَعِيمٌ The virtuous shall invariably be in a state of bliss. وَإِنَّ الْفُجَّارَ لَفِي جَحِيمٌ But the wicked shall of course be in the flaming fire. يَصْلَوْنَهَا يَوْمَ الدِّينِ they will enter therein on the day of requital. And they shall not at all be able to keep themselves away by escaping from it. What should make you know what the day of requital is? Again, 
We repeat, how can you know what the day of requital is? يَوْمَ لَا تَمْلِكُ نَفْسٌ لِنَفْسٍ شَيْئًا وَالْأَمْرُ يَوْمَئِذٍ لِلَّهِ It is the day when no person shall be able to do anything for another. On that day, the absolute judgment of every sort shall entirely belong to Allah. al the defaulters in duty, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Woe be to those who make a default in any of their duties and give short measure. الذين إذا اكتالوا على الناس يستوفون. When they receive measure from other people, they receive in full, not allowing the least shortage and loss. وَإِذَا كَالُوهُمْ أَوْ وَزَنُوهُمْ يُخْسِرُونَ But when they give by measure to others, or weigh to them, they give them less than what is due. أَلَا يَظُنُّ أُولَئِكَ أَنَّهُمْ do not such people realize that they will be raised to life again? To face and hear the judgment of that great day? The day when people shall stand before the Lord of the worlds? Nay, not at all as they believe. The record of the deeds of the wicked is in Sijin, the register of a prison. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا سِجِّينَ What should make you know what that سِجِّينَ is? كِتَابٌ مَرْقُومٌ It is a book written distinctly and comprehensively. وَيْلٌ يَوْمَئِذٍ لِلْمُكَذِّبِينَ on that day, woe shall befall those who belie the truth. Those that belie the day of requital. No one can treat it as a lie except every sinful transgressor. إِذَا تُتْلَى عَلَيْهِ آيَاتُنَا قَالَ أَسَاطِيرُ الْأَوَّلِينَ Who when our messages are recited to him says, These are mere fables of the ancients. كَلَّا بَلْ رَانَ عَلَى قُلُوبِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ Nay, not at all so. The truth is that their evil deeds have rusted their hearts. <laughs> Nay, we repeat, not at all so. Verily they shall be debarred from the sight and mercy of their Lord that day. Then they shall surely enter into the flaming fire. Then it will be said to them, This is that very punishment which you used to cry lies to. 
Behold, verily the record of the righteous deeds of the virtuous will be in Ilion, the register of those enjoying the most exalted ranks. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا عِلِّيُونَ And what should make you know what Ilion is? كِتَابٌ مَرْقُومٌ It is a book distinctly and comprehensively written. يَشْهَدُهُ الْمُقَرَّبُونَ which those drawn near to their Lord will find present. <laughs> the virtuous shall indeed be in a state of bliss that day. <laughs> Reclining upon raised couches, they shall be looking at everything all around. You shall find freshness and bloom of bliss in their faces. They shall be given to drink a pure and delightfully refreshing beverage, sealed and secure from all contamination. Even the sealing and dregs of which will have flavor of musk. So to this noble end, let all the aspirants aspire. And this beverage will be tempered with tasneem, flowing from on high. <laughs> this tasneem is a spring of which those drawn near to God shall drink. <laughs> Those who had severed their ties with God used to laugh at those who believed. And when they passed by them, they winked at one another by way of ridiculously finding fault with them. And when they returned to their companions, they returned exulting with pride. And when they saw these Muslims, they said, these are surely the straying ones. Though they were not deputed as guardians to guard over them. Now, on this day of judgment, it is the believers who will wonder at the disbelievers. <laughs> Seated on raised couches of dignity, they, the believers, will be looking at the miserable state of the disbelievers in Jehenna. <laughs> Then it shall be said, the disbelievers have been duly requited for the misdeeds that they used to do. al inshikaq the bursting asunder, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. 
اذا السماء شقت when the sky burst asunder واذنت لربها وحقت and gives ear to the command of its lord to obey and it is fittingly disposed to do so واذا الارض مدت and when the earth is stretched out and receives fresh manure for the spiritual and physical progress of its dwellers وألقت ما فيها وتخلت and cast forth all that it has in it and becomes as if empty وأذنت لربها وحقت and gives ear to the command of its lord to obey and it is fittingly disposed to do so يا ايها الانسان انك كادح الى ربك كدحا فملاقيه O people verily you are by nature toiling on towards your lord a laborious toiling then through arduous service to him you shall surely meet him فأما من أوتي كتابه بيمينه. Then as for the person who is given his record of deeds in his right hand. فسوف يحاسب حسابا يسيرا. He shall soon be reckoned and easy reckoning. وينقلب إلى أهله مسرورا. And he will return to his people joyfully. But as for the one who will have his record of deeds given to him behind his back, as a sign that he had thrown the divine teachings behind his back, he shall soon call, so to say, for complete destruction to end his agonies. And he will enter into a blazing fire. Verily before this he used to be joyful among his companions and neglected the hereafter. إنه ظن أن لن يحور. He deemed that he would never return to God. بلى إن ربه كان به بصيرا. Yet he did return to God to account for his deeds. Surely his Lord was ever watchful of him. فلا أقسم بالشفق. Behold, I call to witness the twilight of sunset. والليل وما وسق. And the night and all that it envelops. والقمر إذا اتسق. And the moon when it becomes full. لا تركبن طبقا عن طبق. That you may invariably pass on from one stage to another. فَمَا لَهُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ So what is wrong with them that they do not believe? وَإِذَا قُرِئَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْقُرْآنُ لَا يَسْجُدُونَ And they do not prostrate in submission when the Qur'an is recited to them. بَلِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا يُكَذِّبُونَ On the contrary, these disbelievers cry lies to the Qur'an. And Allah knows best all that they keep hidden in their hearts. So do not bother about them. Rather, give them the news of a woeful punishment. إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات لهم أجر غير ممنون. 
Different, however, is the case of those who believe and do deeds of righteousness. There awaits them an unending reward. Al Buruj, the Starry Spangles, with the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. I call to witness the starry spangles of the sky. And the promised day. And the bearer of witness, the prophet, and that about whom the witness is born, the prophet's community. That these disbelievers will face destruction, as were destroyed the fellows of the trenches. These trenches had the fire fed with fuel. When they sat by them. And they were the witnesses of those wrongs they were doing to the believers. وَمَا نَقَمُوا مِنْهُمْ إِلَّا أَنْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ الْعَزِيزِ الْحَمِيدِ They hated and tortured these believers for no reason other than that they had believed in Allah, the Almighty, the Praiseworthy. الَّذِي لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاللَّهُ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ شَهِيدٍ To whom belongs the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is witness over all things. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ فَتَنُوا الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ ثُمَّ لَمْ يَتُوبُوا فَلَهُمْ عَذَابُ جَهَنَّمَ وَلَهُمْ عَذَابُ الْحَرِيقُ Those who deliberately persecute the believing men and women and then do not repent shall suffer the punishment of Jehenna and shall suffer the torment of heart-burning in the present life. But those who believe, and do deeds of righteousness, shall have gardens served with running streams to keep them green and flourishing. This indeed is the great achievement. <laughs> Terrible indeed is the seizing of your Lord. <laughs> It is he who originates and continues reproducing. And he is the protector, the most loving. Lord of the throne of power, the Lord of all glory. Absolute performer of what he intends to carry out. There has reached you the account of the host of Pharaoh and Thamud. The truth is that. The disbelievers are persisting in belying the divine messages. 
And Allah encompasses them from all sides, from behind, and from in front of them, to punish them. This is also the truth, that it is a glorious Qur'an. Inscribed in a tablet well guarded against corruption, distortion, and destruction. El Tariq, the Night Visitant. With the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. I call to witness the heaven and the visitant in the darkness of the night. And what should make you know what the night visitant is? It is the star of piercing brightness. Remember, a guardian is appointed by God over every soul. Therefore, let every human being consider from what material he is created. He is created from a jetting fluid. Which issues forth from between the loins and the breastbones. Verily, he who created him the first time has the power of bringing him back to life in the hereafter. On the day when the hidden things shall be exposed, then the person who has engrossed himself in worldly affairs shall have neither power to defend himself, nor will he have any other helper. I call to witness the clouds that rain over and over again, and the earth that burst forth with herbage and with springs. That verily this Qur'an is a decisive word. And it is not a vain revelation. And they, the disbelievers, devise a device against it. And in return, I too devise a counter device. Therefore, grant the disbelievers respite. Yes, grant them respite for a little while. al ala the Most High. With the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. سبح اسم ربك الأعلى. Extol the holiness of the name of your Lord, the Most High. الذي خلق فسوى. Who creates all things and gives them suitable and perfect shapes. والذي قدر فهدى. Who determines the capacities and faculties. And furnishes them with appropriate guidance to achieve the final goal. And who brings forth the pasturage.
and then turns it into dried up rubbish, grey colored. We will soon teach you and make you recite the Quran so that you shall not forget any part of it. Except whatever other things which Allah will and which things you are apt to forget as a human being. Indeed, he knows all that is manifest and all that is hidden. And we shall provide you every facility and make things easy for you. Therefore, keep on reminding the people, surely reminding does good. He who stands in awe of God will heed. But the person steeped in wickedness goes on avoiding it. He who will enter the great fire then he shall neither die therein nor live. Verily that person who purifies himself truly will succeed both in this life and in the hereafter. And remembers and extols the name of his Lord and offers prayers. But the fact is that you people prefer the present life. Though the life in the hereafter is much better and more lasting. These teachings are so stated in the earlier scriptures. The scriptures of Abraham and Moses. al ghashia the overwhelming event. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. There has reached you the news of the overwhelming event, the resurrection. Some persons shall be downcast and humble that day. Toil worn and weary. They shall enter a blazing fire. They shall be made to drink from a spring of boiling hot water. Dry, bitter, and Thorny herbage shall be their only food. Which neither nourishes nor satisfies hunger. On that day, some other persons will be fresh and joyful. Well satisfied with the fruit of their pious strivings. They will live in a sublime garden. Wherein you will hear no vain talk. It shall have a running spring. 
It shall have thrones raised high. And goblets properly set. And cushions beautifully raised in rows. And velvety carpets tastefully spread. Do the people not then look at the clouds and the camels, how they are made? And at the heaven, how it is raised high? And at the mountains, how they are set up? And at the earth, how it is spread out. Keep on admonishing them, even if they insist on shutting their eyes. So your duty is one of an admonisher. You are not appointed a keeper, stern and hard to compel them. But as to him who turns away and disbelieves, Allah shall punish him with the greatest punishment. Verily to us is their ultimate return. Then it is surely for us to call them to account. Al Fajr, the dawn, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. I call to witness. All the times and places specially important for the acceptance of prayers, including the dawn of the 20th of Ramadan. And the last 10 nights of Ramadan. And the prayers of which consist of the even and odd numbers of Raka'at performed during these nights. And the night, Laylatul Qadr, the blessed night, when it moves on to its close. In it, there is surely a strong evidence for one who has sense and understanding. Have you not considered how your Lord dealt with Ad? Of Iram, possessors of tall statures and lofty columns. The like of whom have not been created in these parts of land. And how he dealt with the tribe of Thamud, who hewed out huge rocks in the valley to make their dwellings? And how he dealt with Pharaoh, lord of vast host. All these people were those who committed all sort of excesses in the cities. And they spread a lot of corruption and lawlessness therein. So much so that your Lord let loose on them the scourge of various kinds of punishments.
Behold, your God is always on the watch. Moreover, a human being is such that when his Lord disciplines him by prosperity and thus honors him and bestows favors on him, he says, My Lord has honored me. And when he disciplines him with affliction and thus straightens for him his means of subsistence, he says, My Lord has for no reason disgraced me. Nay, what you think is wrong, but the reason for this degradation is that you, for your part, do not honor the orphan. And you do not urge one another to feed the poor. And you devour the heritage of others wholly and indiscriminately. And you are exceedingly fond of wealth. By no means will it be so as you think when the earth is completely crushed into pieces. And when the judgment of your Lord comes to pass and the angels descend also ranged rank on rank to execute his decree. On that day, Jehenna shall be brought near. It is on that very day that a person will remember the admonition, but of what avail Shall that remembrance be to him at that time? He will say, Oh, would that I had sent forward some good deeds as a provision for this my life here on this side. So on that day, none but he shall execute his punishment. And no one but he shall bind like his binding. As for the person who has been blessed with a contented and peaceful mind, he will say to him, O oh, you soul at peace! Come back to your Lord, well pleased with him, and he well pleased with you. Enter the fold of my chosen servants. And enter the garden. Made by me. Al Balid, the city, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. La uqsimu bihada al Balid. Nay, it will never happen at the disbelievers' desire. I do swear by this city of Mecca. 
When you will surely alight as a conqueror in this city. And I cite as witness your father, Abraham, and his exalted son, Ismail. We have certainly created a human being to face obstacles and to struggle hard to achieve a marvelous goal. Does he think that no one will have power to use against him? He will say, I have wasted enormous wealth. But does he think that no one sees him? Have we not given him two eyes to distinguish right from wrong? And a tongue and two lips so that he can ask if he cannot see for himself? And we have pointed out to him the two conspicuous highways of right and wrong. Yet he would not attempt the uphill path of steep and difficult ascent. And what should make you know what the uphill path of steep and difficult ascent is? It is the freeing of a captive from the bondage of slavery, debt, and other afflictions. Or feeding in the time of famine. An orphan, near of kin. Or a downtrodden poor person. And what is even more than he is of those who believe and exhort one another to be patiently persevering and exhort one another to be compassionate towards God's creation. These who follow this hard path are the blessed ones. But those who denied our messages are the wretched ones. There shall envelop them the fire closed over a fire the heat of which is not allowed to escape, and they themselves cannot get out of it. Al-Shams, the sun, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. I call to witness the sun and its light and heat. وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا تَلَاهَا And the moon when it borrows light from it. وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا جَلَّاهَا And the day when it reveals the sun's glory. وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا And the night when it draws a veil over it. وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا and the heaven, and that great omnifice divinity who made it, and the earth and that great being who expanded it, and the human soul, and that mighty Lord who made it perfect. Then he revealed to it 
its evil and its righteousness. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا All these are cited to witness that one who purifies it certainly succeeds. وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا And he indeed is ruined who corrupts it. كَذَّبَتْ ثَمُودُ بِطَغْوَاهَا The tribe of Thamud belied Salih because of their rebelliousness. It was when the wretched most among them arose. And Allah's messenger said to them, Do not interfere with the she-camel, a symbol appointed by the command of Allah. and do not obstruct her from watering. But they belied and disobeyed him and hamstrung her. Then their Lord destroyed them completely for their sin, so much so that he leveled them all to the ground. وَلَا يَخَافُ عُقُبَاهَا And he did not care at all for their end, as to what an utterly miserable state they were reduced. Al-Layl, the night, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَى I call to witness the night when it spreads its veil. And the day when it becomes bright. And all the males and the females that he created. That diverse are the ends that you strive to achieve. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أَعْطَى وَاتَّقَى Then as for the person who devotes all his resources and capacities in the cause of God, gives to others and guards against evil, وَصَدَّقَ بِالْحُسْنَى And declares his faith in all that is best and right, فَسَنُيَسِّرُهُ لِلْيُسْرَى We will then, invariably provide for him every facility for doing good. But as for him who is niggardly and cripples his capacities and is disdainfully indifferent to God and the hereafter and belies all that is best, We will then, of course, make easy for him the downhill path to a state of distress. And his wealth shall not avail him when he dies. It is for us to provide guidance. وَإِنَّ لَنَا لَلْآخِرَةَ وَالْأُولَىٰ And to us belong all the blessings of both the next world and the present. فَأَنذَرْتُكُمْ نَارًا تَلَظَّانْ O people, now I have warned you of a flaming fire. لَا يَصْلَاهَا إِلَّا الْأَشْقَىٰ None shall enter it but the wretched sinner who belies the truth and turns his back on it. But the one who guards against evil and keeps his duty to God and others shall most carefully be kept away from it. الذي يؤتي ماله يتزكى A person who spends his wealth seeking to purify himself وما لأحد عنده من نعمة تجزى 
and not because he is under an obligation to anyone, which obligation has to be repaid. <laughs> but he spends only to seek the pleasure of his Lord, the Most High. <laughs> Surely he will be well pleased with such a one. al duha the forenoon brightness, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Wal-duha. I call to witness the growing brightness of the forenoon, saja. and the night when it becomes still. Ma rabbuka wa ma qala. O Prophet, your Lord has not forsaken you, nor is he displeased with you. Surely your future is better for you than your past. Your Lord will soon give you what you desire, and you will be well pleased with him. Did he not find you an orphan and take you under his care? He found you lost in his love and that of his people and gave you guidance so as to enable you to help the people reach the goal. And he found you having a large family to support. He freed you from want of every kind. Therefore, as to the orphan, do not allow him to be an oppressed person. And as for the person who seeks your assistance, do not chide him away. Then as to the blessings and favors of your Lord, keep on proclaiming your gratitude by doing similar favors to your fellow beings. al sharha The Expanding with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Alam nashrah laka sadrak. Have we not in fulfillment of your vision in your boyhood, and again when you were entrusted with the divine mission, opened, expanded, and illuminated for you your bosom? Wa wada'na anka wizrak. And have we not relieved you of your burden of various responsibilities? <laughs> Which have weighed your back down? <laughs> and have we not exalted for you your name and given you fame? <laughs> So surely every hardship is followed by ease. <inaudible> yes, every hardship shall be followed by an ease. <inaudible> when you are free, having finished one task, strive hard to do the next. <inaudible> And to your Lord you do attend wholeheartedly and humble yourself before him. al the fig, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. I call to witness four periods of human evolution, including the fig, symbolic of the era of Adam, when the foundations of the human civilization were laid, and the olive, 
that of Noah, the founder of Sharia. And Mount Sinai, that of Moses, when the details of the Sharia were revealed. And this town of security of Mecca, where the advent of the Prophet Muhammad, the divine law was perfected and finalized. That we have surely created the human being in the finest make and the best proportions, with enormous capabilities for an all-round advancement through the process of evolution. Then, according to our law of cause and consequence, we degrade him to the lowest of the low if he does evil deeds. Different, however, is the case of those who believe and do deeds of righteousness. There awaits them a never-ending reward. فَمَا يُكَذِّبُكَ بَعْدُ بِالدِّينَ Who is there after this to belie you, O Prophet, with regard to the day of requital? أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِأَحْكَمِ الْحَاكِمِينَ Is there still anyone to say? That it is not Allah who is the best of judges? El Alaq, the clot, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Recite with the name of your Lord who created all the universe. Who also created human being from a clot germinating cell. Proclaim, for your Lord is the most benignant. Who taught knowledge by means of the pen. He taught human being what he did not know. <laughs> Nay, it is not at all as these people think. This human being does indeed indulge in transgression. Because he thinks himself to be independent of God. O people, surely to your Lord is the ultimate return of you all to be accounted for your deeds. Have you considered the case of one who forbids? A servant of God when he prays to his Lord? O people, do you ever consider if he who prays to God follows the right guidance? Or enjoins guarding against evil? How bad will be the end of that forbidder? Do you also consider if a person, the rejecter of divine commandments, belies them and turns his back upon the truth, what his end will be like? Does he not know that Allah indeed observes all? Nay, it will never be as the rejecter desires. 
If he does not desist from these wicked ways, we shall assuredly seize him and drag him by the forelock. A lying sinful forelock. Then let him call members of his association. We will call our brave defending guards. Nay, he will never succeed in his evil designs. Yield not to him. Rather continue to prostrate yourself before your Lord and draw near to him. Al Qadr, the Majesty, with the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. <laughs> we began to reveal it, the Quran, during the Night of Majesty. <laughs> And what shall make you know what the night of majesty is? The night of majesty is better than a thousand months. The angels and the divine word come down therein by the command of their Lord to determine each and every affair. That night is all peace. It lasts till the rise of the dawn. al the manifest proof, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. لم يكن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين منفكين حتى تأتيهم البينة. Those who disbelieve from among the people of the Scripture and from among those who associate gods with God would not be rid of their bigotry and rejection of faith until there should come to them the manifest proof. A great messenger from Allah reciting to them written leaves of the book free from all impurities. Consisting of eternal laws and commandments. Those to whom the scripture was given became divided only after the manifest proof had come to them. They have done it though, in Islam, they were enjoined nothing more than to serve Allah, bearing true faith in Him, and being upright and to observe prayer, and to keep on presenting the zakat. That is the true and firm conduct of faith. Verily, those who disbelieve from among the people of the scripture and from among those who associate gods with God shall be consigned to the fire of Jehenna. Therein they shall abide. It is they who are the worst of all creatures. 
Verily, those who believe and do deeds of righteousness, it is they who are the noblest of all creatures. Their reward is with their Lord. Gardens of eternity served with running streams to keep them green and flourishing. And they shall abide therein forever and ever. Allah is well pleased with them and they are well pleased with him in their state of highest bliss. Such is the reward for a person who stands in awe of his Lord. al zalzala The Shaking With the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. إِذَا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا When the earth is shaken with its violent shaking. وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا And when the earth shall throw up all her treasures. وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا And when a person will say in bewilderment at the extraordinary happenings on the earth, what is the matter with her? That day she will relate all her news pertaining to every action done in secret on it. For your Lord will have inspired her to do so. On that day of reckoning, all people will come forth in various groups to be shown the results of their deeds. Then, whosoever has done so much as an atom's weight of good, will see the good result of it. Similarly, whosoever has done so much as an atom's weight of evil shall also see it. el Adiyat, the Chargers with the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever-Merciful. I call to witness the panting and snorting charges of the warriors. And those that strike sparks of fire, dashing their hoofs against the stones. And those that make raids at dawn. فَأَثَرْنَ بِهِ نَقَعًا And raising up clouds of dust therewith. فَوَسَطْنَ بِهِ جَمْعًا They penetrate thus right into the middle of the enemy ranks. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لِرَبِّهِ لَكَنُودَ That good-for-nothing human being is indeed very ungrateful to his Lord. وَإِنَّهُ عَلَى ذَلِكَ لَشَهِيدٌ And he himself bears witness to all this by his conduct. وَإِنَّهُ لِحُبِّ الْخَيْرِ لَشَدِيدٌ And he is, truly speaking, the extreme limit in his love for wealth. أَفَلَا يَعْلَمُ إِذَا بُعْثِرَ مَا فِي الْقُبُورِ Does not then such a one know the time when all those in the graves will be raised up in the hereafter? 
And the time when what is hidden in the bosoms of people shall be made known. Verily their Lord is, of course, fully aware of all regarding them that day. El Qariya, the disastrous rattling, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Al Qariya, the disastrous rattling. Al Qariya, how very terrible is the disastrous rattling. Wa ma adraak al Qariya. What should make you know how very severe and destructive the disastrous rattling is? On that day, people shall be in great confusion and distress, like moths scattered. And the mountain shall look like carded wool. Now as for the person whose scales of virtues are heavy and good deeds are preponderant, he shall have a pleasant life. But as for the person whose scales of good deeds are light and of no account, the abyss, Jehenna, shall then be a nursing mother to him till the souls are completely cleansed of the taint of sin and they are reborn. Ah, what should make you know what that abyss is? It is a blazing fire for burning out all the dross that people collect by leading a sinful life in this world. Al Takathur, the vying with one another to excel, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. O people, you're vying with one another to excel in multiplying worldly possessions, divert you from God and true values of life. Until on your death you embrace the graves. Nay, you should never hanker after worldly gains, power, and position. You shall come to know in time that you have been chasing a shadow. Nay again, we repeat, never should you misuse your life of probation. You shall come to know the consequences of it in time. No, never, if you only knew the consequences thereof, with sure and certain knowledge. You will certainly see the very hellfire in this present life by seeing the sad fate of the wicked. Again, you shall most certainly see it in the hereafter with the eye of certainty.
And then on that day of reckoning, you shall be called to account for the favors bestowed upon you. El Asr, the time, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. I cite as witness the time. Verily, a person who is unmindful of God and higher values of his life is pursuing a losing bargain. Different, however, is the case of those who believe and do deeds of righteousness and who exhort one another to accept and preach the truth and exhort one another to abide by it with patience and perseverance. Al-Humaza, the slanderer, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Disaster is decreed for every slanderer, defamer. Who amasses wealth instead of spending it for the good of humanity, counts it over and over and depends upon it as a safeguard against his future possible hardships. He thinks that his wealth will make him immortal. No, never. He shall surely be cast into the crushing torment of hell. And what should make you know what the crushing torment is? It is the fire set ablaze by Allah. And which rises over the feelings of the hearts. It, the fire will be closed in on them so as not to let them escape from it and to also increase for them the torture of heat. The flames of the fire will rise in the form of huge outstretched columns. El Fil, the elephant, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al-feel? Have you not considered how your Lord dealt with the people of the elephant, the army of Abraha, the viceroy of the Negus, king of Abyssinia at Yemen? Alam yaj'al kaydahum fi tadlil? Did he not cause the war to end in confusion and ruin their plan to destroy the Kaaba by making it revert to themselves? And he sent against them flocks of birds. which tore off flesh from their bodies to eat by, striking them against stones of hardened and petrified clay. And thus he reduced them to rotten chaff, and in a similar way will they be ruined who would ever make an attack to destroy the Kaaba. El Quraysh, the Quraysh, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Quraysh. 
the Lord destroyed the people of the elephants, which event proved helpful for making covenants of the Quraysh with their contemporary kings for trade. إِلَافِهِمْ رِحْلَةَ الشِّتَاءِ وَالصَّيْفِ And also for their covenants of journeying by taking caravans in winter to the south and in summer to the north. فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ They should be ever grateful to God for this favor. And therefore they should worship the Lord of the house. <laughs> Who has fed them against hunger and given them peace and security against all fear. El Ma'un, the acts of kindness, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Have you considered the case of one who belies the requital and faith? As a result of this despicable fellow, instead of taking care of him with affection, repulses the orphan. And does not urge in feeding of the needy. So woe to those who pray. الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ But are unmindful of their prayer and ignore the spirit and aim of it. الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاءُونَ And they like only to be seen of people while they make a show of their deeds. وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَاعُونَ And who withhold legal alms and other acts of kindness, starting from the zakat to the lowest form of lending ordinary things of utility like a needle or a piece of thread to a neighbor. al -Kawthar. The abundance of good, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. <laughs> Verily, we have bestowed upon you, O Muhammad, abundance of good, both of this life and of the hereafter. <laughs> Therefore, observe prayer for the sake of your Lord and offer sacrifice to him. <laughs> Surely it is your enemy who is cut off entirely from all good and prosperity and is deprived of spiritual issues. El Kafirun the disbelievers, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Qul ya ayyuhal kafirun. Say, plainly to those present and who are not, O oh, you disbelievers. La a'budu ma ta'budun. I will not at all worship those false deities which you worship. Nor are you worshippers of him whom I worship. Nor are you worshippers of him whom I worship. 
Neither have I ever been a worshiper of those false ancestral customs, superstitions, and deities which you worship. Nor are you worshippers on the lines of which I worship. For you is your recompense, and for me is my recompense. El Nasr, the help, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. The help of Allah and the victory over the Meccans has indeed come in fulfillment of the prophecies. And you see people thronging to the fold of the faith of Allah. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا So glorify your Lord with his praises and extol his name and ask his protection. Surely he is oft returning with grace and mercy. al masad the twisted strands, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Let the two hands of Abu Lahab, the Prophet's uncle, one of his most inveterate opponents, and other fiery tempered enemies of Islam, perish, and let he himself also perish. ما أغنى عنه ماله وما كسب. His wealth and what he has accomplished shall avail him not. سيصلى نارا ذات لهب. He shall soon enter a fire full of leaping flames to burn others of his kind as well. وامرأته حمالة الحطب And his wife too, the carrier of firewood and bearer of slanders and calumnies, will also be enveloped in the flames. في جيدها حبل من مسد Having round her neck a halter of twisted strands. Al-Ikhlas, the purification of the unity of God, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say, the fact is, he is Allah, the one and only in his being. Allahu samad. Allah is that supreme being who is the independent and besought of all and unique in all his attributes. He begets none and is begotten by no one. And there is none his equal. al felak the daybreak, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقُ Say, I seek refuge in the Lord of the daybreak and the plain appearing and emergence of truth. مِن شَرِّ مَا خَلَقُ From the evil of that which he has created. وَمِن شَرِّ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ and from the evil that usually prevails in the times of darkness when it overspreads at night. And from the evil of those who try and whisper evil suggestions 
to deter people from doing their duty. And from the evil of the envier when he envies. Al Nas, the people, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Say, I seek refuge in the Lord of people. The sovereign, the controller of all affairs of people. The God of people. That he may protect me from the evil of the whisperings of the whisperer, the sneaking one. Who whispers evil suggestions into the hearts of people. From among the jinn, fiery-natured, haughty, and the ordinary people.